entitled to their own opinion. But, um, yeah, with, I don't see a whole lot of a problem with Ike. I mean, he does have a disjoint, so at, me personally, I would see some problem. But I don't, I don't, I don't fear Ike's more than I fear Politanus. But uh, right now, Sabo's showing why he should be, uh, why Bounty should be fearing Ike a little bit. Very close uh, in terms of percent, but he is still going toe to toe with someone that has a a breakout option like Grenade. Oh, someone who's supposed to be locking down stage control like that too. A back air is so close, but the up tilt from uh, from Bounty is going to be able to edge that out because the back air potentially uh, potentially could have taken, probably not, but it would have put Bounty in a very sour spot to get back on stage. Now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, Ike might be at a far larger disadvantage here than he thought, or than I would have imagined. Counters the Cypher, knows the Cypher hits before uh, <clears throat> any opportunity for a frame 2 comes in when he calls the Cypher out. Well, ooh. Ooh, I, my god, that was actually really close. Closer than I thought. Up tech time, same around, let's go. Some of the meatiest legs that you've ever seen. Dash attack. Gonna do the work. <laughs> and Bounty just throwing out these grenades, not letting, uh, not letting the Ike throw out all those nair options like you were alluding to before. Yeah. Ike really kind of struggles with that, just because Snake's the one character that you don't want to have big hitboxes around. I mean, yeah. Anyone else? Oh giant, my God! Yeah. Anyone else? Giant hitboxes. Oppressive, because yeah. then they have to they have to find their way around it. They're basically playing your game up until they hit you for the first time. Right, and with the disjoint too, you yeah. think he would be a little more poised to do it, but it would still clang with grenade. And if the blast radius is enough, it would knock both of them up no matter what. Like he's not going to find his you know tried and true combos. He's a little honest in terms of going in with those nares and uh, potentially like back airing, covering with le on ledge, things like that. But then it's Sabo recognizing that switches to Greninja. Exactly. Try, been trying to smooth his way around those grenades. And again, with the smaller hitbox is actually kind of helpful in this matchup. Yeah, the way that he hunkers down and also just the speed in general of Greninja. Able to um, close the gap a lot more than uh, that maybe Bounty's reaction time is not uh, going to allow him to get those grenades out. And uh, might be really useful here. Water uh -huh. Shuriken. Uh, yeah, for sure. I see that. Um... Well, cause when, when snakes projectiles fly in an arc, which most of them do, yeah. the water shuriken can, can just flow right underneath them, and it's so fast that it's not gonna... The grenade's not gonna reach it by the time it reaches snake. Yeah, yeah, you have to fine-tune the arc a little bit, but maybe not with the Nikita, as that tried-and-true ledge trap comes in, able to claim the uh, first stock on him. That was an up-air, like that was. We're trying to pursue yet again. Oh! Okay. Watch that C4, yep. Okay, up smash not finding its uh, double hit. But the fair wow. will take out. Sabo stepped up his game from the last round. Mm -hmm. Nair into tilt, very nice. <laughs> it's just a better matchup. I just love how he it stomps through the air like that. It's ridiculous. Here's a frog. I mean, got how jump. snakes like down air is just stomp, stomp, stomp. It's like he's, he's a floating tantrum child. No, Chloe can't try out this man. Gets the grab, very nice. Yep, show it. I didn't even see that grenade get thrown out there. Pops away, very nice avoiding that up tilt. Simple job. Nikita goes again. Oh, I mean, just a little bit longer, and that would have been. Was able to fake him out, but. Once uh, Bounty recognized that hop in right off of the ledge there, and it was just prime up tilt real estate. Trying to pursue so hard to get that fair takeout. I mean, he needs to if he wants any. It feels weird to say this about a character with an archetype like Snake, but you do kind of have to mix up your edge guarding options with mostly between just your special moves. But yeah, I mean, they both do insane stuff like smash covers jump. You know the. Nikita covers anybody that's waiting out to grab ledge at all. Yeah, he does have, you know, uh, a very well-equipped toolkit in, in uh, order to combat the uh, edge guard situation. 
But like you said, yeah, you have to be somewhat committal because the up smash does take time to come out. Nikita, you're stuck in there until you drop it. Yeah, for sure. Shields through a grenade. That's exactly what Bounty was doing. So Sabo just answered in earnest. Was able to get the grab out of it. And again, second time, same happened. Oh, wow, he had that. He let that loose. Blast <laughs> <laughs> radiuses. And just like that, we're going to be moving on. Ow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the blast radius coverage of that uh, RPG. That, that's one way to end the game. Ouch. Both for Strider for Zoomers. And that lump of spit that was caught in my throat there. But that will be uh, one side of losers, but we are just about close to wrapping up on winner's side as we have Blazing Pasta versus Sparky sitting down to play out winner's finals.